Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by LRM20QS. LRM20QS, delivering all the right fireworks to all the right places. So I advanced the timeline a little bit. Uh, I know we, I said I was going to take that two and a half skull uh, base defense mission, but then when I realized how the recordings were kind of working out, um, this episode is actually, I'm actually recording it on Canada Day. I was hoping to have something for today, but I... Didn't really have anything special. I missed a day last week. But, um, so I'm recording this one for Canada Day, or for, sorry, for uh, 4th of July for uh, my American neighbors. And what I decided to do was go ahead and load up the Talos. And we're going to bring that one with us today. So let's have a look at the mech bay really quick to show you what I did with that thing. So in keeping with, I'm going to actually replace the stealth with this one today. Uh, but the Talos will end up in this lance uh, just not in the position it's in currently, but uh, or with the pilot it's going to be with today. Uh, but with the Talos, people were saying I should try and stick to the the, uh, the quick sell stuff. So I thought, what the hell? We're going to do that with the uh, Talos and see what we can come up with. Now I don't have a lot of quick sell stuff, and as you can see, we got a lot of missile tubes on this thing. So let's have a look at what we do have in here. So I was able to fit the double AC-5 quick sell in here with a ton of uh, AC-5 ammo. Now this the double AC-5 uses regular AC-5 ammo, which is kind of cool because you can use all different types of types of ammo, which is awesome. Although we have to be careful of the misfire fire chance and the heavy recoil, which means we'll be firing it and then dropping it for a turn, firing it and then dropping it for a turn, just so that it doesn't misfire too much. Now we can misfire twice and then it's broken. So I, if it misfires once, I'm going to have to be very careful of how much I use it. That being said, we have a lot of backup on this mech. So I included heavy industrial armor on this thing, not because I needed more weight. Um, I did add a lot of bolt-ons because I added this, but I needed more, like if I take this off, we had the spiked armor, it's like four tons added, right? So I wanted the four tons for weapons since we're not using this thing for melee at all. I figured the best thing to do was to do that. now. I also changed out the cockpit from the hot seat cockpit to basic cockpit because we couldn't have industrial uh, armor added because uh, I don't have any uh, ferrofibrous and I couldn't add the stealth armor because I don't have enough slots for it apparently. It won't let me do it. So uh, I had to re swap out the cockpit so I could get the heavy industrial ar armor in so I could get an extra four tons to be able to get the loadout that we have today. Uh, so that being said, I was able to add in. I don't have anything else for the head other than a UAV and uh, an exchanger, which we don't need on this guy. So I decided to put a couple of uh, three um, times three 20 bolt-on ton rockets, one regular rocket, one incendiaries. So that's kind of a nice little punch. And then we've got our rocket 20 pack on the arm here. Once again, another punch. So we're a rocket 60 here, plus the double AC-5. And then we've got an, uh, the LRM-20 quick cell added. Two LRM-5 quick cells on the arm, another LRM-5 quick cell in the torso. We've got two tons of LRM quick cell ammo. I figured if we're going to do it, we might as well use the quick cell ammo just to see how it works out. Uh, also, in order to uh, add in some fireworks today, I added the Hydra ammo to this as well. So we're going to get to see what, this, what the, uh, the scatter on these LRMs does with Hydra ammo. That should be interesting to see. Uh, I got some LRM sensor ammo, half a ton of that, so I can just at least use one of these guys as sensors. Probably this one here, it doesn't really matter, but... So we also have to watch out because this thing has a contraband fire control system. While it has, does have good accuracy, it adds recoil and it adds heat generator, but we're actually pretty well um, heat neutral here. The only thing this is really going to affect is the, the, uh, the uh, AC-5 here. So we may have to drop a turn here or there in firing with this mech, but... I think overall it should kind of be interesting to see how this thing plays out. Now we do have a double heatsink kit in here, a pair of double heatsinks. So let's just see how that works. Um, I was able to add a uh, Omnipar lower arm to this arm here to add some accuracy to these two LRMs. It's only plus one, but it's better than nothing. Now, I was going to put the recoil, um, I have a recoil compensator here, uh, weapon mount recoil, but unfortunately this is not the shoulder mount, it's the lower arm mount. And I don't have lower arms, so I can't actually add it. That would be would have been nice, but we don't have that. If I can find an upper arm mount, then I'll actually definitely add that in. But 
So we get that. We can't really do much. And I don't have a lot of headgear down, unfortunately. Oh, wait a minute. Why was this not showing me this? That is so weird. It was not showing me this cockpit because this is the one I wanted to add. But it wasn't showing me it before when I was actually putting this mech together. It just didn't show up in there. I don't know why that was. Well, I got it now. On it. Let's put it in. I'll let you know when uh, it's done. We've got one day to wait, and then we will be into battle. Now, the, the other mechs are slowly coming back, too. The second lance is almost up and running. So we'll be able to drop the panther down here, run a full quick cell lance, and then move this the uh, this whole lance forward one, including the stealth, and then the talos will be added here. Most likely, I'll, I'll, I'll be putting Vision here, who is our next best pilot, um, and run the quick cell lance with uh, some of the newer pilots, I think, with Jenkins in the lead. But let's run the day forward one day, and i got a perfect mission to take for today. So because we're a celebrity now in the inner sphere, well, not a full celebrity, but we are known as a, uh, a uh, hawker of the quick sell items, we've got a guy that decided to show up here today and challenge us. Now, he doesn't like quick sell very much. His name is Brock Lanahan. Let's have a quick look here in the command center. So we got a two-skull does his own stunts. Um... So I'm hoping this ends up, it's a local, unfortunately it's local government, but they brought in another celebrity to uh, to try and oust me off the planet to make me look bad. So we're going to have to go in and take care of that today, which is why I wanted to make sure we got the Talos up and running. Because we've got to have as much quick sell gear on us as possible. So let's go ahead and do that. Now before I actually did this one, I did play a uh, One Skull Assassinate mission in between these two episodes. And I played it for... Um, three money which was about nine hundred thousand and um it ended up being two eight salvage now everything that i that i got out of that mission i scrapped like all the mech parts are all gone i only kept two things i managed to pick up a medium pulse laser clan and i picked up a um a uh, tactics um headgear uh, tactics b so, and I put the Tactics B in with Jenkins. The other medium pulse laser client is just sitting in storage. I didn't use, I'm not going to use it at all uh, for the next little bit. But everything else I just sold. We only had eight other items. It was just like a couple of vehicle parts and a couple of mech parts and stuff. It was a, basically a simple milk run. So that's all gone. Actually, I think, no, I think I kept one of the, it was an urban mech part I think we got. I kept that because I want to assemble the urban mech and then trash it. So, um... But it was the PPC version. That was the only other one that I got. So hopefully we can get some gear out of that. Anyway, uh, because we went past the financial report, we should be okay. So let's go ahead and take this. Um, Hetzer, Cloudbuster. Yeah, I think we're good to go. So let's go eliminate this uh, this guy here. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Again, so this is the second time I'm dropping down because the first time I realized that I didn't Ready swap out the Talos. Anyway, uh, the first time there was one escort. Looks like there's one escort this time. And the guy we want is here. Although last time I dropped, he was over here. So, uh, all right. I was going to start here, but let's just split them. That guy, they were supposed to be the escort, but they're nowhere near the main guy. So uh, I want this to be a good fight. Fair fight by fair fight. Let's go and uh, take on the escort first. Where are they? Where are they two? Um, down here. So let's start. Uh, let's start by the building, and then we'll see if we can get a one-on-one -on -one duel at the end. I have no idea what that guy's sporting. I should just send Jenkins over there. Okay, we got a vehicle. Still don't know what's up with that guy. What do we got here? Chariot. Oh, come on. Really? For a two skull? Well. Receiving you. Alright, let's head this way. Let's see what this Talos can do. So we don't have multi target. Oh, Hunchback 6N. Uh, let's drop some sensor and then um, Hydra. No, you can't drop Hydra. 
Well, I guess we're quick selling it with the rest. Sure. That's actually not bad for the arms chances to hit. So let's switch these around. Let's go with a, sen or a sensor on this guy. And fire. All right, not a lot of damage. How's it going? Wasn't expecting much. All right, you're gonna go this way. Actually, let's send you. Um, let's go this way. This guy, wa this guy wants to see what Quick Cell can do. We'll show him what Quick Cell can do. I'm gonna send the Hetzer, and I'm gonna send Jenkins over there. They will be done. Don't know where we're up against, but we'll go take it on. Try and keep it as fair as we can. Orders. All right, Nuke. Uh, let's get up here. It's sad that we're only rated at uh, one and a half skulls. It's really hoping for better, better uh, competition here. Mm, let's just go with the LK. Target confirmed. Whole lot of nothing. Okay, okay, that's a miss. That was nothing but trees, baby. Nothing but trees. Ooh. Alright. Double time, let's go. Let's see if we can get a direct line of sight on this vehicle. Really open for more. Ferret. Lots of energy, lots of armor. Nope. Well that's not bad. But uh, I think this one's a little better. Oh, he's got a Thunderbolt 15. Yeah, let's end this guy as fast as we can, I think. I gotta drop the mines over there too. All weapons are go. Ooh. Oh. He's open. I'm out of SRN. Now the question is. He's got 15. Depending on where he goes, he might get killed. Oh, let's see. No, he survived the mines. At least he doesn't have high oh that's thermal. Light damage. Hold in firm. At least I think that's thermo. It didn't explode like it was though, so it's probably not. Standing by. All right. Well. Copy that, Commander. Part of the four and four on this side. If this goes quick. We'll take another one. I don't know what uh, lasers he's got. All right, so this is just all vehicles. Uh, let's go this way. Get to there. Still don't know what we're up against, though. He was back there. I'm sure he'll get a first shot at us here. That hunchback's going to die before he gets a chance to do anything, I think. He might get one shot off, but that's about it, I think. Once we get over there. Good to go. I'll stick in the open. Better chance for us to hit. And there's not much that can see us directly anyway, so I'll leave that off. Yeah, yep. Got it. Well, there goes our minefield. One of the reasons why I want to get rid of that, the uh, mine dispensers. We don't need them anymore. We get a little additional damage here or there, that's great, but uh, we can always find something else to load up there. We're going to stay with, uh, let's go four. Sure. Firing on target. And that rack too, like if you're close or somebody's in the open, it's devastating, but at range, it really doesn't do much. Ow. Oh, it's on. Damage minimal. It's Not on. Standing by. You know who we're going after. You know who we're going after. Yeah. Let's get a quick saw win on this guy if we can. Nope. 
Apparently not. Waiting for orders. That's all right. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Engaging target. Man. Failed to connect. All right, where's Brock Lanahan? I'm sure we'll detect him next turn. Yes, Commander. I am the wind. No, he must be in some kind of stealth mech. That could be bad for us. Orders. Wow, we're we're running pretty hot here already. Let's just go here. Let's use the double AC on this guy. We gotta drop some heat, so let's go... Let's drop this guy. Gotta throw those on. Add a little bit of punch. Doesn't add any heat because those are the bolt-ons, so... Let's see if we can get some damage in on this guy. Okay, double missed. Rockets and missiles racking up some good damage, though. Ready for orders. Until Vengeance gets here and clears the minefields, but whatever. Ooh, I gotta be careful not to get too close, because I don't want to get inside the, uh... Yeah, I'm already in there, I think. Inside the minimum range of these. Oh, the AC hit, though. Everything hit, looks like. Damage. Receiving you. Alright, Nuke, let's drop some damage on this guy. Uh... Let's drop the recoil from that thing. This guy's got lots of armor. We're not going to get through it this turn, so... Let's drop some recoil. Yes, boss. Alright, I need you to find that guy for me. Hmm. Is there somewhere? I hope he's actually going to fight and not, uh, just, like, hide or whatever. That'll be disappointing. Turn those up. That ferret's got some pretty good armor on him. I wonder what his loadout's like. SRMs, some mediums, and some pulses. That's actually not bad. Or small lasers and pulses, I mean. Unless they're chem lasers. And it's got fire and maneuver. Avatar. Oh, shit. Uh, that's not a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. You're gonna need help. You are definitely gonna need some help. I wonder if that's the AC-20, uh, or LBX-20. Oh shit, it's the AV... AV-2-OE? Well, that'll be interesting. Okay, who do I send over there to help you? I want to engage both at the same time, so we can't, uh... Receiving you. Do I risk the, uh... Ah, you're in a good spot, Lyle. I'm going to reserve these two for now. Waiting for the shot. Ooh. We want to move the direct fire over there or the indirect fire? Going to move you over there. Got it. No shooting, just running. You're definitely going to need a little bit of help over there, I think. I should move the Talos, but Talos is too far away at this point. It's too slow. Commander. Uh, let's just reserve you. I want to see what they do Waiting here. We're going to slowly start moving that way, though. Heading out. They're bunched up. Let's see if we can drop, uh, where is the, uh, there he is there. 
We should be in range with the, um, the Hydra now. Let's go quick sell on this guy, the Hydra on the rest. Actually, let's switch this guy back to sensors. Get a little bit of Hydra down there, get some flames going. All right, a little bit much of a spread, I think. We need we need more LRMs, I think, if we're going to really get the fire going. That guy's got to go away. All right, let's see if this guy's moving. Right here. All right, we're going to slowly move this way. We are still going to engage these guys, though. Oh, I can't hit the... Uh... Well, there's the hunchback there. Uh, let's switch to... Let's just go with incendiaries. Acknowledge. Trying to get a bit of fire down there, so if he does crest, at least it heats him up a bit when he fires his weapons. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, he's not firing. Ooh, I thought he was going to fire there for a second. Where'd he go? He's up on the hill. Heavy PPC version. Two medium X pulses, light PPC. That's not a good time. That's a lot of armor, too. I'm here. Okay, let's get to here. Moving out. See if we can draw them out a little bit. Ready for orders. Let's Vigilance to get a little bit of initiative next turn. We're going to dart in, take a shot at him, and try and dart out again. Roger that. See if we can strip a bit of armor. This guy's coming in a, a uh, mech like this for this fight. Alright, you can play that game. Combat shotgun up. Here it comes. Target confirmed. Alright, 16 points. Primary target damage, Commander. It's a good start. Yeah, not really, but... We're gonna say it's a good start. 25%? Sure. Roger that. No shooting, just running. Now, do I have... I don't have enough. Okay. Let's see if we can get a shot off on this guy. Firing. Damn. Failed to connect. That's alright. Waiting for orders. Doing your best. Get back here. We're gonna have to play this smart, long game on this guy. He's going, what, on 8? We're going 12? Perfect, we can get away. Nice. Alright. It's a, uh... Waiting for order. A fire weapon off battle... Ooh, okay, we got some sight on this guy now. Got some direct sight on this guy. Let's turn the... Well, we're ordering it to four wrists. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll stick with... Let's go LK. Medium streaks, smalls. Okay, cool. We might be able to finish this guy up. All right, I was worried this wasn't going to be actually a tough battle, but it's going to turn turning out to be that way. Only because I'm choosing to engage both sides at the same time. Let's do this. Roger. And we'll brace up here and drop a bunch of recoil. Ready for orders. All right, we should be able to I'm gonna walk it. You might hear some explosions going on outside. This is fireworks for Canada Day. Consider it a duplicate for Fourth of July as well. Yes, Commander. Move up to here. 
Mm, where are you? There's the hunchback. Chariot? We Let's try and get a kill in this chariot. So, Hydra or no? Let's just go straight up quick sell on this guy. On your tail. Should be able to get him. That should is that that's not enough. Damn. That hit something good. How close are we though? I'm being flanked. Yeah, they don't have accuracy though, so you're okay for a moment. Okay for a moment. Okay, that should be enough for uh Thanks, Commander. We'll take the mines, it's fine. Should be able to finish this guy up now. There we go. Mech destroyed. Alright, we're up by 50%. 6v4 now. Okay, where did he go? I think he backed up a bit. At least that's what I feel like. Could be wrong. Who's going first here? Striker. Striker's running. I'm ready. Oh, do I do the same thing? We reserve and then move in? I think we have to. Let me know when you need me, Chief. Yeah. Receiving you. Don't feel so upset about it. Oh, as much as I want to move, let's. Standing by. We can't. Uh, I'm going to hold here and watch out. Can't push this guy. Is this attempting to charge somebody? Reporting minimal damage. You were. Who were you charging? The vehicle. Yes, Commander. Yeah. You charged the vehicle. Well, that's interesting. Over now. Bustana. Uh, yeah. Target lock on enemy six. Start applying some damage to the striker. That hunchback, man. Orders. Oh, you got a reserve. Yeah, the AI just doesn't quite. Waiting for the right move. When it's when it's faced with a cliff, it doesn't quite handle cliffs very well. Okay, so that guy's moved now. Commander. Now where are you damaged? The far side. So let's come down here. Yeah, well, not much we can do about that. There we go. Target's down. Ready for orders. They really want to get this Talos into the fight here. It's so damn slow, though. Well, we don't got much, so let's add some fireworks here. Fireworks it is. I copy. Yes, Commander. I mean, it's not really exactly what I kind of wanted for fireworks. Uh, we don't have enough for two of these. No, we don't. Oh, that could be such a good. You got it. Going flat out. I hate for this guy to get the kill on this, but uh, I can't not take this sh chance. Not against some something so dangerous as this. On it. Now we missed. Commander. 
All right. Oh, we'll take the trees just in case we somehow don't get in front of this guy for initiative. We'll vigilance again. That's pretty good chances for firing it. Welcome, to my alpha. Ooh, looks like some good leg hits. Yeah, that's a start. Good to go. <laughs> that's gonna be a long fight. Go for the solid blue. And I really hope you get initiative in front of him next turn. Well, we got double ECM going here, so it's not too bad. Uh, we'll hold off on that. And let's fire the rest. Okay, a bit of a senseless scramble. Nice. So we got 8. Oh shit, 15. This guy's... Of course, he's going on 16 now. All right, so Orders. can I get? I can't get over there to protect the uh, Hetzer with the warfare suite, but I can pull back here. That'll put the. Uh, I mean, hopefully it helps a bit. I'll put the Stormcrow within the uh, radius. Hopefully that helps a little bit. He's going to turn to face that Hetzer anyway. A damn thing I can do about it. Good to go. So those guys are finally trying to move out to engage here. I don't think I can. I can. I can finally get a direct line of sight on that hunchback. Roger that. Full speed. Well, we haven't had a chance to wind up this rack. Ooh, 38, eh? Uh, it is the 4th of July, so let's uh, 4th of July it with a 38. Actually, I'm going to switch this to EMP, though. And let's hammer him. I bet you're going to like this. How you like them fireworks, baby? Reporting serious armor loss. Whoops. Yeah, that's, that's my bad. I, I keep forgetting I can't have anybody in my way when I'm firing. Ooh. Ooh, Warfare Sweet QS protected, baby. Reporting minimal damage. Good to go. And that guy's made a fatal error. But I gotta drop recoil, so he hasn't made a fatal error. But that being said, can I get? Hmm. Where can I strike him the best from next turn? Probably here. Let's get to here. On my way. Double time. I gotta drop recoil. I'm just not gonna hit him. There's no point in uh Commander. No point in doing that. Oh, we got a direct line of sight. Let's take it. Roger. Hopefully soon we can get a targeting computer on this thing. Uh let's give him everything. All QS. Here it comes. Happy 4th of July, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I hit something good. <laughs> the number of rounds that just came it. down on his ass. How are you doing? Oh, you're okay. I don't know why you were crying before. I've lost some armor. Okay, I think we're okay here. We're gonna shoot the vehicle. We're gonna leave the uh, the mech to the mech. We'll shoot the vehicle. Mech on mech fight. Commander. Who? We need to move a fair bit. We can't just stand still. Sure, that's not. That's two. We should be partially covered too when he moves, so it's not a bad space to be, I think. I'm going to take the 60. I don't think it's going to get much better than that. He's got a laser AMS though, so let's leave it off for now. 
Okay, tags on. Good stuff. Okay, on 27. Who's that? Striker? Yeah. Reporting. Minimal damage. Senti heating up. All right. Um. He's going on 11. He might come around on that Hetzer. I don't know. We're going to give him the move. Oh, that guy's not doing anything? Ready for order. He's moved up, but now he's moved to a position where he couldn't shoot me. We're going to be hot here, but... That's fine. I'm okay with that. We're going to leave this off. Yeah, let's go with the Thunderbolt, see if we can claim this guy. Rotary 2 up, yep. Engage. Well. Target eliminated. He's not Target having a good day. Gone. Yeah, that Rack 2 is crazy. What's up, boss? I'm just glad. It's got a big misfire chance, but I'm glad oh. that uh, it's got so many hit points so that it's hard to get completely destroyed. Uh, yeah. Double AC5 hit. So did a hell crap. Oh my god. See ya. Target eliminated. That enough fireworks for you? Let's get you out of there. Hopefully you can stay away from the fire here. All right, now this battle. He's going on 11. So let's give it to him. Let's give him the move. Okay. He's overheating. All right. This should give us a really good chance to hit here. Yeah. We're just going to shoot him. we got to start stripping some more armor here. Ooh, there was some... He's open somewhere. I think that's his arm. It is. Waiting for orders. I want to get a side shot on him. Can we do that? We can kind of do that. got to stay in the trees though. I need that extra armor protection from this guy. Uh, let's go with the Thunderbolt. I think we're, we're in a good chance here. This guy doesn't have much left anyway. Yeah, we're through the one side now. All we have to do is kill the torso and I think he's done. So, uh, you're not a fan of Quicksell, I take it. This guy just doesn't it like, like the Quicksell yeah, items that much. Well, we're going to give him a reason here why he should uh, fear Quick Cell. This is the reason why you should fear Quick Cell. Got it. All right. There you go. Now. One last target. Mission successful. Ultra AC20, baby. Or sorry, double AC20. For when deleting your opponent just isn't enough. What do we take damage on this guy? Oh, the rotary took... Yeah, the rotary. It's all, I mean, I, I, I just got to expect that it's going to take damage every battle. Especially when you wind it up like, it did, like I did in that one. So the Hetzer got a kill. Jenkins didn't get one, but we did some good damage to that guy. We set, we set the, uh, the, the Quick Cell Hetzer up for the win. Oh my god, there's three parts of the Avatar. How's that? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Heavy PPC. Uh, I should probably take that. Medium X-Pulse. Now I don't know what mech to get rid of. Probably the Stealth. Energy, Battle Computer Heat. Exchanger Double Plus. 
I think if we're going to turn that guy into an energy build, I think I should grab this. Wish I had one more slot. The heavy PPC. Oh, they got thermal bolts. TBM. Is there? Is the TBM up here? It is. Twenty one heat. Ah oh, man. Such good salvage too. I didn't think this was going to be that great of a fight, but it ended up turning out to be nice. We got like all the parts of the hunchback here sitting here too as well. So if I take this heavy PPC, we're building the avatar around the heavy PPC, but I'm wondering if we should do something a little different with it in that we boat the two pirate plasma cannons. They're 10 tons of pop. But they do so much heat, like heat AOE heat damage. You can see how their two copters were able to, to mitigate us. We could build the, I mean... We could build the uh, av avatar around that. And then we take the exchanger. That's a pretty damn good exchanger. Because then we can just fill that thing with other energy weapons too, right? At least that's my thinking. I got, I'm trying to play as... No, like as unconventional as I normally play, trying to get away from the standard playthrough. I think that might be an interesting build. I mean, we also had the two pirate AC-5s as well. But until we get incendiary AC-5 ammo, I don't think doubling them up on a mech is a good idea. The plasma cannons would be the better bet. It's roughly, like, I mean, 8 tons for the AC-5 plus 1 ton of ammo. Is nine tons, and then it's ten tons for the plasma cannon, plus a ton of ammo. So it's a couple tons different. But I don't have to worry about ammo explosions. Why are... Okay, never mind. I was going to say all the parts of the vehicles are here, but they're not. Alright, well, I think I'm going to go that route. Let's see what we get here. Alright, we got a chariot part. Oh, it's the Thunderbolt 15. I don't know if we have any more chariot pieces. That's a 50-ton mech, or vehicle, with okay armor. And we got a ferret part. All right. That's actually really good armor for 45 tons. Laser AMS. So it's not too bad of a load. How fast is it? 914. That's actually a really good striker vehicle. So if we can get some more parts of that, that'd be nice. So we got laser AMS, light PPC, LRM 15, regular medium laser, medium rifle. We shall just get rid of. I'm going to get rid of the medium laser because we got lots of them. Diverse optic smalls. Got a bonus range on it. Variable damage. Armor can go. That can go. Fire control system advanced. Very nice. Got the heat bank as well. Reactive plating. And this. So that's actually a really nice run. The avatar. I guess we have to, I guess we have to put that together now. Yeah, that might not have been a too bad of a fight if their positioning wasn't garbage. Although they did manage to uh, manage to inflict some damage on me here. A little bit more than I thought it would have been. Alright, let's have a look at the mech bay real quick. So, storage. Let's go down. Here it is here. Let's ready that guy. That mech is ready to fight. I'm interested to see how much is still intact. That should be an interesting... Hmm, we got a heavy PPC, a medium X pulse, recoil, that's nice. Actually, I could move that over to the uh, Talos if I wanted to. Double heat sink, light PPC, cool and flush, battle computer heat. And how long? 500,000 and 21 days. 280 core, clan endo, really? That's kind of nice. Regular cockpit and stuff, though. I need a double heatsink kit. Well, I guess not, because if we pull the stealth out of service to put this guy into play, then I won't need that. But I mean, my thought was, if we strip the gear here really quick, 
because I'll be figuring out what I'm going to do with this after. But my thought was we got a fair bit of weight on this thing. This is a 4-6 move, which is not too bad. I mean, it's average for a heavy mech. But we've got the two clan plasma cannons, or the pirate plasma cannons, I mean. So these guys have misfire chance, but they've got four slots, so you can misfire quite a few times before they get destroyed. They do require ammo. Right? So... How many rounds per? Ten shots. So we would probably need to carry three tons of ammo. I mean, realistically, you'd probably want to carry three. Jeez, you know what? That's, um... That's ten shots each. 15 shots each. <laughs> oh, I'm tempted. And that's before we, once we finally get uh, Pharaoh, we'll have a bit more space. Laser AMS is integrated. So what's, what the, what's the heat sinking required for this? Well, that's a lot of heat. How much do these put out? 50 each. So even with an exchanger, you're still, I mean, we need an ECM with that reactive plating. Does this add weight? It does not. So, I mean, we could do that. Add some ballistic re resistance. And then... And we got prototype double heat sinks. All we have to do is find a prototype double heat sink kit and drop it in this thing. And boom. That's what I'm talking about. So we would have 69 heat sinking if we put a double heat sink kit in. Yeah, I mean, we'd have to recycle. Our, so if we'd go w with the plasma cannons. We could leave that out, one ton out, and my reason being is that with the heat sinking the way it is, right, so imagine 60 plus 15 is 75, 105, we'd be over by 30. So if we alpha were over by 30, how much do these put out? 9, 18? So we'd be over by 12 if we didn't fire these two. So the turn firing would be both of these plasma cannons firing for a hundred we'd be over by well it's less than a hundred because it's 15 percent less so 85 we'd have a heat sinking of 75 so we'd be over by 10 heat on the first turn and the second turn we turn a plasma cannon off and fire one plasma cannon and two ACs which is 68 heat minus 15 percent then I still have to factor in the walking and everything so I mean we could put the heat bank in you'd want a proper targeting computer and everything I mean it's possible and then once we get endo steel we could drop endo in and maybe some other way to seek, sink the heat Ooh, yeah, maybe. Or we find a prototype double heat sink kit and then use these guys instead. Maybe. I mean, you can see how this could be an option. Or we could just put the double AC-20 on it and say, fuck it, let's give it some boom boom. Eight recoil. That let's put that in the heavy rotary on and see what the hell happens. Fire turn, firing on one turn, get like a sixty percent chance to hit. Then the next turn, you just have like two percent because of all the damn recoil. Recoil of three per shot above two. So if you fired everything on this guy, you'd have twelve recoil plus eight from the double. That's like twenty recoil. 
you'd have to like I don't know how many turns you'd, I, I don't know if you can drop all of your recall the next turn or what but you wouldn't be firing the next turn but that's if they landed though could you imagine if the double AC hit and then the rotary all hit that's like insanity and we would have the weight to do it too like that's the bizarre thing I'm pretty sure we would be able to just like and then ammo and more heat sinks because our heat's already well I guess the heat's not that borked 68 yeah we'd be fine we could put other stuff on it too something for those turns when we actually don't have any uh yeah because there's only what six shots per ton of ammo so oh, I think this has to actually go in this the location where the weapon is and then the AC 20 ammo is how many how much per ton five right yeah so three tons of that was well, what AP there's three shots yeah even still it would be three tons of AC 20 ammo so another ton yeah we'd have room for like you'd have to put secondary laser weapon like I wonder where is that uh, I mean you could go something like that the rest would be ammo so the first turn you'd be firing the double AC 20 and their heavy rotary and then you'd be jammed all the shit and the next turn you could fire the uh, PPC and the light PPC. I mean, there's lots of options. Or you could, I mean, this adds recoil too. So maybe the next option would be like, you know, boating ER large as well. Like you could go with like a couple of ER large. And then you'd have more room for other stuff. Like, so I'm just going to throw the large laser in for now for weight yeah no cause still the rest would be uh, ammo the rest would just be ammo unfortunately yeah you don't really have much uh, much options unless you go for a close range build this guy I mean it's iffy because actually this might be nice too leaving this in activates when 40 heat damage taken Item has one use, minus 20 heat per turn when active. Yeah, I was going to say you could go for a closer range build and remove the ER lasers and put in medium X pulses. But this is really a, more of a medium range. That's 480 meters. This is 720. Yeah, I mean, X pulses are what, 420? So, I mean, that's, a, that's another option, and then we'd have room for other stuff like ECM gear or whatever else you wanted to use, sensor gear. We don't even have a... Uh... Wait a minute. Why was that not allowing me to use that on the Talos? It said it, the lower didn't have a lower arm... Maybe because it's an... No, this is an Omni too, though. I was going to say maybe because it's an Omni, but... It wasn't giving me the option to use it. Like, I mean... Oh, it was this one that I was... That's what it was. It was this guy. Well, why didn't this show up? When I was building the Talos, this one didn't show up. This is what I was looking for. That is so weird. And the, the, the uh, Quicksell cockpit didn't show up either. When I was building the Talos, I had to add that afterwards. That's just bizarre. I don't know if that's a bug or what that is. A bug or a feature? Anyway, there's lots of op there's lots of options for this mech. Throw some, I mean, you guys kind of know what I have here. I mean, I don't have a lot at the moment, but we will have more later. I mean, we could go with the AC-20 Mydrin. But if we're going to go with more extreme builds, like it's more of something like this, right? Or the, uh, like I said, the, I think the, uh, 
it would be kind of cool to have the two clan plasma cannons on here. And then some ballistic to round it out. Like, you could go with the AC, like, so... Because I, 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 yeah, like I said, the playthrough is kind of built, made for quirky builds. So if we can do some real quirky shit with this stuff, just to see how it works out. Like the clan plasma cannons, and then maybe the, uh... Hell, for that matter. Oh, that's just too much heat, though. You could go this route. You know, the rest would be ammo. We'd still be really hot, like 115. What are we looking at right now? So that'd be plus 17, so 67 heat sinking, 102 alpha strike. So, yeah, it still would be the same thing. It would be both plasma cannons and then a, then a plasma cannon and an AC, then both plasma cannons, a plasma cannon and AC, probably something like that. But that's a pretty that's a pretty strong build. I think I would probably put this in the torso though. I mean, we're already losing a, a bonus chance to hit by putting it in the torso. Maybe the plasma cannon would go there. Does this thing have recoil? I don't think it does. Yeah, then maybe this route. The only reason why I say we put something in the torso because if we lose an if we lose this arm, then like 66% of our weapons are gone. So spreading it out this way, if we lose an arm, we still have other weapons. So, our, or you could do it like this and show one arm or the other arm, but I still I think would rather go this way or this way. Add the plasma ammo here because it doesn't explode, and then add the AC twenty ammo here. So if we lose the well, if we lose a side, it's gone anyway because the XL engine. Yeah, that's, I mean, there's definitely options for this thing. Well, I added the double heat sink, it still says 47 heat. Nothing like doing correct calculations. Oh, well, no big deal. We'll figure that out later, but let's just get it repaired for now. Let's strip all the gear. Perfect, 600,000 to repair. So let's validate that because we got the C-bills. And I'll try and keep it up at the top. Logged and noted. Shouldn't be too hard. So I think we can go... See, here's the thing. And it's... Once again, it's it's because of series playthrough and not because of just the gear that I have. But So for the series, if I'm going to run both the quick saw lance and a regular lance, the problem then becomes choosing a planet that both lances can run and have half these emissions on. So right now we're in a two-skull world. This is going to be like a one skull kind of lance. And this is like a two or three skull lance. So right now it's kind of balanced. If I put the top, if I put the avatar in, then we'll start tipping, you know, three, three and a half. So until we can get like a quick cell Wolverine or something to replace some of these the quick cell commandos with to bump up the strength of this lance, we're kind of stuck around a two skull world right now. So we'll wait and see how this plays out. The Avatar is probably not going to get into the battle. Like, I'll probably get it fixed and then put it in storage until we get some more mechs and we can bump everybody up. But once again, it's it's the trick of running a series, right? Like, if you're, if you're just playing by yourself, it's easy to do. But if you're doing a series, it's like, it's tough to keep the balance. Actually, I don't have infinite coin and I'm not going to run, like, a, a crap ton of, like, of milk run missions when I'm not, uh, um... Yeah, when I'm not uh, recording. So, but anyways, I'm going to end this episode here. Brock Lanahan thought he could uh, take on the quick sell unit. Well, that ain't, just, that ain't happening. That dog just won't hunt. All right, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And if this is, hasn't, this episode hasn't convinced you to buy a quick sell, I don't know what will. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>